Another program to help farmers financially is called target prices. So let's see what target prices are. Let's start off with a demand curve for the agricultural product and the supply curve. So let's say that this is the equilibrium in the free market before the target price program gets instituted. Let's say that the equilibrium price is $3. The free market price, this is before the target price program is instituted. And let's say that the quantity is 12. As you can see that uh, with a price of $3 and a quantity of 12, total revenue is price times quantity, or 3 times 12 is the total revenue is equal to 36. Now the government might say, well, that's not really enough revenue. The farmers are struggling financially. So we need to somehow increase the price. So just like in price supports, the government will set a price that is higher uh, in this case let's say 450 for the farmers and what we notice there is that at 450 farmers are going to be producing if we go to the supply curve quantity of 15 instead of 12. now in this program the government does not want there to be a surplus of goods and services like there is in price support program but for there not to be a surplus, farmers need to be selling all 15 of their products. So we got to now figure out how are we going to make consumers buy 15 products? Well, if we look at this point on the demand curve, we notice that that is where consumers are buying 15 products. However, they're buying that only if the price is there, which let's say is $1.50. So if farmers were to sell the product for $1.50, they could sell 15 products. However, they were promised $4.50 by the government. So what the government does is they say, well, we'll make up the difference to the farmers. So that is called the deficiency payment. I'll abbreviate that here, deficiency payment. So the government essentially is going to subsidize the farmers $3, $4.50 minus $1.50, per bushel of wheat or corn, which means that the government will have that expense and of course taxes will increase as a result of that. One thing about this program though is that consumer prices actually will decrease so that is a difference from price supports where prices for consumers actually would increase.